Hey, what do you know? It's September in Colorado. That means one thing. Time for a photo road trip. So I'm going to gather up my maps and organize my camping gear and pack up the truck so I can head out for a week on the road. And I'm going to do this as a self-contained photo mobile photo unit. Uh, so that means I'm going to have everything I need with me to keep me warm, comfortable, well-fed, and hydrated for the week. So... Doing it this way means there won't be any need for hotels or restaurants, and I'll be able to stay out in the field connected to the landscape that I'll be working in. So join me for a week of photography on the road. I'm going to be chasing light and chasing color all throughout Colorado. Um, I'm going to start out on Ohio Pass, then move over towards Kepler Pass, and eventually wander down a little bit further south towards Owl Creek Pass. So let's see what we can find. All right, well, we made it to camp. Had a nice little drive today. And uh, wow, it's just stunning out here right now. It's a pretty classic Colorado fall day. The leaves are changing really nicely here. Um, I've got a nice little camp spot here that, uh, actually, I'm just gonna talk to you while I set up camp. Um, put this over here. Let's see. I'm gonna get my bed set up, get some of the food out, get a little more arranged and organized. Um, I do have a couple friends meeting me here, at least one guy coming here tonight, maybe two, and then I'm meeting another friend tomorrow night, so I'm looking forward to seeing some, some buddies and doing some shooting with them, but uh, until then I'm going to get organized. Um, first of all, you'll notice that uh, I'm not in a van. Uh, you don't need a van, I think, or a camper or anything like that. I think a, a lot of people think you need to make this great big investment um, to come out here and and camp out and get photos, and you just don't need it. Um, I'm in a little the, in the back of my Toyota Tacoma here. Another friend of mine is going to be sleeping in the back of his Highlander. Another friend of mine does have a camper, so you know if you have one, great. And if not, no biggie. You can make do with this right here. Um, and I'll show you what it looks like in a little bit, but it's going to be real comfy and real cozy. It's going to be a great little spot. But the more important aspect is why I'm out here. And for me, at least, I think being out in the landscape and living out here for the week is like really connects me to the land and connects me to photography and to my art. So that's kind of why I do it. I don't want to be in town. I don't want to have to race back to town to catch dinner. I don't want to have to um, stay in a hotel that's in, you know, 35, 45 minutes away. I bet the closest hotel to where I am right now is, yeah, about that, probably 45 minutes away. And I want to be here for sunset and I want to be here for sunrise. And if I can do it right here out of the back of my truck, it's just going to make my photography um, better. I, I'm here for it all. And also, like I said before, it just kind of connects me to the land and connects me to the landscape that I'm working in. So, yeah, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, we're gonna spend a couple days shooting landscapes, hanging out, camping, and uh, yeah, it's gonna be really fun. So here we go. I guess I'll finish setting up my camp here and then uh, maybe go for a little photo here this afternoon.
So move camp just a little bit. Got even closer to the shot that I want to get. Um, so I'm just heating up a little food right now. And uh, as you can see, as soon as we do have some clouds up here, which is really cool. And uh, so assuming they light up, I can just wander down to the meadow right here, right in front of my camp and uh, go get a couple shots. Um, there's a little farmhouse out there, a little road, all the big cliffs and the, the aspens are turning. So it should be really nice. No sign of my friends. I don't know what happened to them. They must have found a shot somewhere else. Who knows, maybe it'll show up at some point, but anyhow, I'm gonna dig into some food and wait for the light to get good and go get my shot. All right, so I think a good plan for today is finish up some breakfast here and uh, pack up everything, head on out, maybe go into town, go into Crested Butte, see a friend or two, and then uh, head over to Kebler Pass for the afternoon and uh, see if I can catch up with my friends there. All right, well, again, coming down Kepler and um, came across this nice little stand here. It was looking pretty good. It's a little backlit, glowing a bit, which is nice. Uh, most of the leaves on the pass this time are, uh, they're not quite there yet. It's still a little green. It's kind of that transition zone where it looks like it might go brown, but probably they're gonna turn yellow. It just need another couple days. Um, but, uh, but this stand looked really good, so. I figured I'd come in here and set up the camera and see if we can't make a little uh, order out of all this chaos. We'll see. We've been having an awesome week out here. We we're down in the Cimarron uh, area of uh, Southwest Colorado. And uh, it's been great. We were up on Kebler for a couple days there and now we're down here in the Cimarron area and uh, everything's going really well. I met up with a bunch of different photographer friends and we've been having a blast. The weather's been great, almost too great. Uh, we haven't really seen a cloud in the sky in a couple days. Uh, much to some people's dismay, but there, there's ways to work around that and shoot around that. We've been shooting in the forest and been getting some real nice stuff in the forest itself, uh, and that's been a lot of fun. Uh, but really what I want to talk to you about right now was some of the gear I'm using. So I want to go through all the gear stuff. Um, to start, I'm using for the body, my camera, main camera body I've been shooting all week is the Sony a7 III. Um, it's just a really nice uh, landscape body for sure i mean it does anything you want of course fine for portraits too but really enjoying it for sh shooting landscape it's been great um on here right now i have the 2470 this is a you know a very much a go-to lens for me 
and that's the DGDN version of this lens. And that means it mounts directly to the Sony body. I don't have to worry about using any uh, adapters or anything like that. Uh, next, the other lens I'm using, lenses I'm using quite a bit, uh, the 1424, also a DGDN. So this again mounts right to the Sony body, which is really handy. I don't have to use any sort of converters. Nice. I'm also using the 100-400 telephoto. It's been a great lens for me this week. I've used this a lot in the forest. Uh, it's been really good shooting in, in the aspen trees here. Um, again, also DGDN mounts right to the camera. It's awesome, light, little, powerful, very sharp lens. And what else do we have in here? We also have the 7200 sport lens. Um, just because this is... This is a phenomenal lens. It's a, a very high quality, very sharp uh, zoom. And you know, I think just about everyone should probably own a 7200. I use it for my action sports. I use it for portrait. I use it for landscape. Um, this is a very critical lens to have in your kit for sure. Uh, it's been really dry and dusty out here, super dusty. So uh, another thing I've been using a lot is this little air blower here and I use this almost every time I change the lens what I'll do is you know I'm, I'm swapping lenses I'm just going to give the sensor a little quick clean give the back of the lens a little quick clean and then I'm pretty much good to go I mean just that will get 95 percent of the dust off of your sensor um, but I did also bring a little sensor cleaning kit just in case so I do have that available if I need it as well so far I haven't needed it yet the other thing I have is a bunch of polarizing filters. There's one on uh, the 2470 here. I also have one, uh, one for my 100, 400, another one for the 7200. And then for the, uh, the 1424, I don't have a circular polarizer. One, because polarizing with an ultra wide angle lens is kind of ridiculous anyway. It doesn't really work. Um, but I do have some ND filters, which can be really handy at times. And that's how these work here. And they just kind of, uh, it's what's called a rear mount filter. It goes in the back. Um, I haven't really used that much yet, but uh, you know, if I'm around running water, maybe a waterfall, I would use that to kind of uh, stretch out the waterfall for long, uh, long exposure. What else do we have in here? Oh, one other thing I want to talk to you about was uh, my new bracket, which is pretty handy to have, an L bracket. And that bracket just mounts right here to the bottom of the camera. But what it does is it makes it really easy to go from horizontal shooting to vertical shooting. I don't have to, to do it off the tripod itself. I just use the L bracket to do that. It's really handy and very helpful. Um, of course, I have a whole bunch of batteries. I have four batteries with me. Um, and uh, I don't even know how many gigs of card space, uh, tons. I think I have two 64s, four 32s, and yeah, that might be, I don't think I have any more than that. That should be, that's more than enough for a landscape shoot. Um, and then this week, oh, and then a tripods too, of course. I got my nice carbon fiber tripod that's been working well for me. Although one of the legs is a little bit loose and that's kind of annoying and I don't have the tools with me, which is silly. I almost always have them with me, but I don't this week. Um, and then everything this week I am carrying in, um, in my, what is this? The backlight 45 liter, uh, photo pack. And this is made by think tank mind shift. Um, so that's what I've been using. It's been really good. It's been a, it's a great landscape pack. It fits all the lenses I need and there's just enough room back here to throw in an extra layer uh down jacket or something like that and then you know i can stick a water bottle and food and all that kind of stuff so that's been a really good setup so that is my camera gear i don't think i missed anything we'll see uh, but that's what i'm using for all these shots that you're seeing and it's working perfectly so um what's next uh tonight we're gonna go shoot a lake that's really close to camp right now um We'll go up that and I think I'm going to bring uh, the video camera with me. We'll get a few shots up there and show you kind of how we approach that whole scene. It's a really, really beautiful spot to shoot. And uh, it's fun getting to share that with all my other photographer friends who are here. Um, they're all out and about right now looking for morning compositions. Um, so uh, hopefully they find something good for us to shoot in the morning. 
Anyhow, that's all I got for you now. Uh, of course, as always, you know, if you have any questions, hit me up. I think we're pretty much gonna call that a wrap for the week. That was, what, five and a half days we've been out, sleeping in the back of the truck, shooting around, traveling, having a great time generally. Um, it's been awesome. I've gotten to shoot with a bunch of friends, uh, people from Colorado, friends from Seattle. Uh, it's been really fantastic, and that's kind of what a, what a landscape photo adventure should be, in my opinion. Um, did we get shots? Yeah, we got some shots. We got some really nice stuff in the forest that I'm really looking forward to seeing. We got some nice shots up at the lake that I'm looking forward to. You know, the only real swing and a miss that we had was, uh, was the big grand landscape. And we tried that yesterday morning. We tried it last night. We just got shut down and it was really tough last night. We were so close to getting it. Oh man, everything was lining up. We had the clouds. We had everything was coming together and it just didn't happen right at the end it just kind of fell apart but so it goes that's uh that's what we sign up for that's that happens more often than than not um but really that's that's fine uh we had a great time we got shots and it was a blast so anyhow i'm pretty much just gonna pack this up here and start slowly working my way home and that's about it so we'll uh we'll catch you next time <laughs>